This brutal cold isn't just hard on our bodies, it can kill your car or make it impossible to fire up in the first place. It is especially tough for folks with electric vehicles. We found some drivers that had to make a detour to give their battery a boost. And it was so cold near Chicago, all these charging stations just stopped working. Drivers had to ditch their dead Teslas here overnight. No matter what you're driving, our David Schumann has what you need to know so that you are ready to roll for the morning commute. Busy day at the St. Louis Park Tesla Supercharger Station. I actually forgot to plug into my garage last night. In weather like this, Jonathan Rosenberg says he needs to get behind the wheel of his electric car with a plan. You definitely get some significant uh, loss of, of uh, range for sure. I mean, maybe even like over 25%, I would say. It definitely dies a lot faster. This happens because the chemical reactions powering the battery slow down. Keeping the heat on inside the car also takes up battery life. All fired up, get nice and toasty. A helpful feature on these Teslas in weather like this is if you plug somewhere into the GPS, the car will tell you that the battery's draining too fast and you don't have the range to make it. Drivers say the cold can slow down the charging too, a cost not only in time, but money as well. I would say I'm spending like 25 to 30 dollars every other day. The cold can kill your battery on a regular car, too. Just ask the owner of Wilson's Auto World in Minneapolis. A lot of batteries. We had a record day on, on Saturday. If you notice your car starting slowly, it's a good time to get that battery replaced and a good opportunity to get a tune-up. It's never too late. Never, never too late. late. It's a good way to get an evaluation, give the car a once-over, mm -hmm. see how everything's going. So you're not stuck out in the cold. In St. Louis Park, David Schumann, WCCO News. Car emergency kits are critical when it's this cold. Here's another reminder to make sure that you have jumper cables or a jumper pack in your vehicle. And you can find that emergency kit checklist on WCCO.com.